When 120 Hertz monitors first came out, there was a lot of talk about whether or not you could actually see the difference. The answer is yes, there's a huge difference, but this was something that was hard to demonstrate over a video and you couldn't really tell until you saw one in person. It took a while, but people finally accepted it and now it's become the standard in high-end gaming. And it was all good, but no, Asus just released a 240 hertz monitor. So we're back at it with another simple question. Can you actually see the difference with a 240 hertz monitor? Okay, so the standard is actually 144 hertz, but for all intents and purposes, we will be combining 120 hertz and 144 hertz together since they're similar enough. This is the new ASUS PG258Q ROG Strix Gaming Monitor, which has a refresh rate of up to 240 hertz. And that's 240 true frames and not interpolated frames like a big screen TV. So that got us thinking, can the human eye actually make use of a 240 hertz panel or is this kind of a gimmick? We'll get to that in just a second, but let's quickly go over the monitor itself. It's a 24.5 inch monitor that uses a TN panel with a response time of one millisecond. G-Sync is active from 30 Hertz all the way up to 240 Hertz and it fully supports Nvidia 3D vision. There is an ultra low motion blur setting. However, it limits the panel to 144 Hertz. For our testing, we kept it at its native 240 Hertz instead. The PG258Q sits on a beautiful three-legged stand that's made of metal and much sturdier than it looks. At the bottom, there's a red LED projector that you can customize with your own logo or anything else that you want just by drawing onto it, kind of like those old school overhead projectors. Or you can just turn it off if you're not into that sort of thing. The stand offers three-way adjustability and can be taken off to reveal a VESA 100 by 100 mount. Overall, it's a very sturdy stand that almost doesn't wiggle at all, even when we shake the table. Like, look, that's just the table moving. That's pretty good. It's one with the table. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. On the back, you'll find one full-size display port input and one HDMI 2.0 port. Beside that, there is a dual USB 3.0 hub and an audio pass-through. Interestingly enough, there is no built-in speakers for this monitor. Personally, I'm okay with that. In fact, I almost prefer it because honestly, you're not going to use this monitor's speakers anyway, most likely at least. Plus, it's one less thing that shows up in your sound devices. And finally, everything is hidden away under a plastic cover that snaps on and off. With the physical tour done, let's get down to business, that 240 hertz panel. We decided to run a little experiment here in the office and wanted to see if people could actually tell the difference between 240 hertz and 144 hertz. As always, we're approaching this from a real world perspective. We're not using any fancy high-speed cameras or oscilloscopes here because who cares? If something is measurable by tools but not perceivable by the human eye, then does it really matter? That's a, that's a deep question. It is. We set up the PG258Q and an ASUS MG248Q side by side, one at 240Hz and the other at 144Hz. We hid the bezels and ran our participants through a simple test. Spend a few minutes playing deathmatch against some bots. With the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti powering everything, we maintained an average FPS of 300. Our test sample included a wide range of subjects ranging from hardcore gamers to casual users and the results were not too surprising. Of everyone we tested, three quarters of them couldn't tell. They noticed that both monitors felt smooth but couldn't tell which one was smoother. The last quarter, however, could spot it after using the monitor for less than a minute. Why is this? Well, it's kind of like a fine wine or a nice pair of headphones. If you know what to look for, then the subtle differences pop out at you instantly. The two main differences people spotted were the increased clarity when flick shotting and the slightly sharper looking textures when they were moving the mouse around a lot. Back in the studio, we decided to dig a bit deeper into this. We tested some Doom arcade levels, more CSGO against bots, and the built-in benchmarking tool in Rainbow Six Siege. The short answer is yes. You can definitely see the difference between 240 hertz and 144 hertz, but it's very subtle. It's a much smaller difference compared to going from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, but it's definitely there. And once you get used to the extreme smoothness of 240 hertz, even 144 hertz can look choppy again. But Julia, you say, human eyes can only see up to 30 FPS. Shh, shh, sit down. 
Okay, so let's break this down into some basic physics. If you're sitting in front of a computer right now, take your mouse and just move it in a circle at a steady speed. Do you notice how it looks like there's multiple cursors on the screen at once? If you do the same test on a 144 hertz display for the same amount of time, you'll notice roughly twice as many cursors. Do it on a 240 hertz monitor and you'll notice roughly four times as many. And why is this? On a 60 hertz display, the screen can only update the cursor's location once every 60th of a second, or 0.01667 seconds. But on a 240 hertz display, the screen can update every 240th of a second, or 0.004167 seconds. That means in the same amount of time, you'll see four times more information with a 240 hertz monitor than you would a 60 hertz monitor. Now, how does that translate into gaming? Well, it means that you have much smaller jumps being displayed more frequently, which directly translates into smoothness. For example, you're sniping in CSGO and you see an enemy on the side of your scope. You flick your mouse over and fire as soon as you think the reticle is on their head. At 60 hertz, if you're an intense gamer and flick over really fast, you'll see maybe five frames at most. Assuming that your bullet hitbox is just one pixel big and their model jumps over 50 pixels per frame, then hitting your shot comes down to luck. But at 240 hertz, you might be able to see up to 20 frames, and their model might shift by just 10 pixels each, giving you much more of a precise shot. So on paper, this monitor should make you a better gamer, but that's only if your reflexes are actually fast enough to take advantage of it. And there you have it. I know that was a lot of math, but there's an even simpler way to figure out if your eyes can see 240 hertz. Just go into one of our stores and try it out. This is really one of those things that you have to see in person. Everyone differs. Some people don't mind. Some people will want a 240 hertz. Go in, try it out. All right, thanks for watching and click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans of benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIA.